Hi, and welcome to John's Films. If you're here, you've probably seen the previous benchmarking I did on a high-end and low-end uh, PC. I wanted to see what I could do to build an optimized mid-range system that would be able to function as a editing box for DaVinci Resolve. And I think I've landed upon about the perfect configuration. Jumping right into the specs, I took my configuration with the 2400G in it and removed the 2400G, put a Ryzen 1600 and an RX 580. They were recently on sale for as low as 180. So I was able to pick up one of those and a 1600 for around $130 and put it into the B450 platform I had running. And here's the results. You can see that the render times, uh, I'll remind you, it was close to 55 minutes when it was the 2400G with integrated graphics. Now it's down around 15 minutes. Through the exact same timeline, the 2400G with the 1080 Ti in it ran right about 11 minutes. So what you're looking at is really a difference of five, $600 in graphics card processing, and you're getting pretty darn close to that performance, even with all of the complications I had in the timeline with OpenFX and other graphics card intensive pieces of work. So the benchmarks were run across my new AMD Ryzen 1600 chip, replacing the 2400G that I had in my previous benchmarks. Uh, I was able to get an RX 580. I got it for, I think, about 180. Uh, it's up to 209 now. And then the RAM was from the 2400 build. Uh, the rest of this was as well. So the real switch here was the graphics card and the processor. Total cost on it as configured um, at the time of writing was 851. Whereas if I take some price optimized looks at this, what would I do differently now? I would still get the power color card because it's the cheapest RX 580 at the time of writing. I would go with the uh, Ryzen 2600. I got that for around 130, but right now it is the cheapest it's got it um, is 190. But what we've been able to do here is get a M.2 NVMe drive in here. That would speed things up even further and keep the cost right at 846, not including peripherals monitor. And a quick update, since I wrote this, the prices have dropped, and on the price optimized choices, I'm able to get the Ryzen 2600 for 159 at, at the moment, and the best option for the graphics card is now a $189 XFS OC Plus RX 580. That takes the total price down to 796, which is incredibly fair for this, which is great for this 4K editing and rendering rig. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.